Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hello from Sicily. I left Tunisia and arrived here last Sunday, I think, or Saturday, I can't remember. And I'm near Palermo now. Have rented a nice uh, Airbnb, Airbnb home. And um, I just wanted to answer some questions from my video when I did the 83,000 kilometer review and uh, stuff I have done to my bike for the Scrambler. Um, I forgot some stuff, which I put in this video now, which will be securing the number plate, the flimsy kickstand and that what happens when it breaks off, why I drill holes in my swing arm and the foot pegs I use. And then in the end of the video, I have some questions for you. Okay, so let's start quickly. Always secure when you, especially you go off-road riding, longer trips, secure your number plate. Drill a hole here, use some chain or whatever. Um, put it around here, other people do it differently. I do it like this um, because those, those bowls, this is plastic in, into plastic that will break off. Had this now three times I was riding with people off-road um, and they lost their plate and then you have to track back and it gives a lot of problems when you are in a foreign country, you lost your license plate, believe me, just secure it, put a hole and you have no headache. Next one is, um, let me just get something from here, Allen key, a small one. Okay. If you look at the swing arm, it is an angle. It is in an angle, okay? Uh, if you ride through water, even it moves up and down, water's entering from the top here. There are two holes here, so the water is going inside here, and it stays here. What happens now, several people have this reported. They got in trouble with it because this bolt, the tension bolt, uh, tension bolt for chain tension, gets rotten inside and you can't remove it. The problem is you have to drill it out, drill it in again, save yourself the hustle, save, your, save yourself the hustle and problems. Just get your drill bit and drill. I hope you can see it here in this corner or hole, you see? Clean it from time to time, especially when you're off-road and in mud and spray some uh, corrosion spray thing stuff. You know the blue spray. Don't want to say the name now. I'm sick of this advertising already. People get a lot, a lot, a lot of advertising for free, for free on YouTube. With all the labels now on all bags so big. Anyway, uh, sorry for rambling, but anyway. So, um, yes, here we go. Drill a hole here. I think, uh, what is this, two millimeter maybe, three? I don't know. Do this, spray it, and do this from time to time when you wash the bike. And when you wash the bike, you will see on, on the other side I have a hole as well. Um, after you wash the bike, you will see that you have nice puddles here on the other side also, that those holes are still open. That's about that. Now, Footbags from a German guy, small company. He makes them by hand on request when you order them in your shop. So they take two, three weeks to get. Uh, keep in mind, mine is 2019. There was no third party um, gadgets, anything for this bike. But this is for Tiger, which fixed, uh, fix, um, which, which fits perfectly. Even it drops down, I think it's two centimeters down here, than the originals. Perfect, nice and wide, not so long. For me, it's perfect, okay? Um, I put the link of that website in the description. But anyway, they are, I think, I don't know what you call them, they have new ones which are like adjustables. I don't know if I can ride with this because I'm completely happy with those. 
they are tick expensive, but handmade, you see that. Yeah. Okay, let me put this down here. Now, let me go around. Now, this little tiny kickstand, flimsy, not really enough for this bike, especially when you have all your luggage. Now I don't have anything, just small bits and pieces, because as you know, I travel from A to B and at location B, I stay for months or so, work during the week and on the weekend I do my off-road. So when I travel long distance, I have a big bag on top here, my 100 kilos. Um, and at one point, even you have to watch out when it's in an angle, uh, the bike, and the angle is much more than this. I mean, you can see it even like when you do it like this. Not good. And also on the scrambler, even when you're not loaded, don't do it like the GS guys do it on the big bikes and put all your weight on top of this and get your leg over there. Just, okay, I'm tall. I just go up like this, you know, like a horse. Or when this is very high up, I just go and don't sit on it like this. Take immediately the bike off the kickstand. I know one day probably it will break off. So what to do, because you have a problem then, is when that thing breaks away, you will not be able to start the bike because it has this uh, magnetic switch here. So you can start it only in neutral. So when the, the thing is gone here, the kickstand is gone, you can't start it. So I show you a simple solution, which I carry all with me since I have the bike with me in my little messy tool bag here. Neodymium magnet, okay? So what you will do is, you go down here under the bike. I hope you can see all this all. Let me adjust the GoPro. I hope it's all on. Should be okay. Okay. Magnet, magnet receiver. Now the bike cannot start, only in neutral. This breaks off or you lose this, you're in trouble. The medium magnet, put it exactly half of the position here. Sometimes it doesn't work. I mean, I, I didn't try it so much because I didn't need to. Uh, I just something, sometimes when you do a lot of off-road, this gets dirty and clean the inside from here as well. So you put this here and then uh, I will start the bike now. Maybe it doesn't start, then I have to adjust the magnet a little bit, but it will start at one time. And then when it started, I would secure it with some um, Loctite, which I always have with me, or with some tape, so I can go to the next place where they can fix this or weld this together again. Okay, let's start the bike. Don't forget when you start the bike now, if you try this at home, don't blame me if you mess up your bike, okay? It's all on your own thing is. So, kickstand is down, simulating, uh, it's bro broken off. So I should not be able to start the bike in first gear. Let me adjust the camera. Um, of course, you have to pull the clutch now, okay? Or you will jump forward. And I'm in gear already, and I can go and have no problem to start the bike. Simple solution. So don't forget to remove the, the, the magnet. Okay, got it here. Now, 
So now let me just sit down here and let me just check so I don't forget anything like the last time. Okay, I wanted to say also I did uh, after five, the, the bike has now exactly 8,500, no, 85,600 or 500 kilometer on it. And I just did now an oil and filter change just two days ago at the motocross place here near Palermo, a garage, very capable guy, very good. And we checked the oil when it came out and even filtered a little bit was completely clean and it was only, I mean, I did this because I was really 4,000 4, or 5,000 kilometers riding in uh, Tunisia, a lot for Tunisia. Um, yeah, so I explained the hole drilling, the foot pegs, water in the swinger, magnet start done. So now I have questions for you. Now, telephone down. What really annoys me, I'm just too lazy to do my research myself. So I make you the video and you can do the research for me and I maybe li would like that you send me pictures. You see how filthy this is? It's a pain in the A to clean this. I have a toothbrush, you maybe saw in my little toolbox, where I rub it away. And I'm so sick of this now. Send me your pictures or links, whatever, from your bike. There are some after one, aftermarket ones which stick out more. Send me some pictures, a link or something, but from your bike. You can post it in the off-road forum, um, mention the video or whatever, so I know, or in the comments or send me an email. Um, email is also down and uh, I have a little website just with my social media stuff on it. So I want to have a new cover. I'm really sick of this now because, uh, yeah. It's a mess to clean, takes always some time. What else? There was something else, was there? Let me check, 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 check. Um, okay, now, what do you think? I use always, when it's mechanical parts, like the oil filter and the fuel filter, I use original stuff. Um, now, because I, you know all my uh, bash plate, the skid plate, custom made here, this one here. Now I have the oil filter really good protected. But the OEM oil filter is, you know, you have to use this uh, like a spring or a clamp to remove the filter. And sometimes it gets really hard to remove it. Um, but there's another brand, you know, the KN filters, they have the small bolt there. I never wanted to put this on my bike because I was afraid that the stone or something hits the bolt and bends the whole filter away and I lose oil. I didn't want this. Now I can do it because I checked, I have a lot of space between oil filter and bash plate. So anybody using those KNL filters, are they good? Or just should I stick with the OEM? With the KNN filter and this nut on the, or this bolt on the, on the filter, it's easier to change. So let me know about that. And that's all about that. Uh, sun is coming out. Maybe I go for another ride today in the afternoon, but I do have to do some work. But uh, today is Friday, so Saturday is tomorrow, and I will explore Sicily more. One day, all that will be on YouTube, longish videos. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. Maybe you found some interesting stuff in it and uh, take care bye and you know this thumb if you want to do this up down or maybe leave a comment bye from sicily